What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is a pretty little white 1970 Nova. Come back. Uh, Dayco correct. 307. Power steering, power brakes. Aftermarket set of wheels. Pretty decent interior. And throughout the test drive, I'm going to be picking out flaws, chip scratches, rust and dents, whatever I can find so you know what you're getting before you get here. We do this with every vehicle. So be sure to check out maplemotors.com, guys. We did update Monday with about 12 new cars. And as you can see, we sold a lot of them. <laughs> so let's do it again. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Well, we're going to check out the interior on this one it looks like kick panel down there is missing some paint this side looks like it's been painted show you the mileage almost got in there it's showing eighty-one thousand miles on the dash it's hard to stand behind mileage in a 1970 model nova but hey that's what it says missing ashtray glove box it's got some gauges back here not the, i don't think they're hooked up though it's got wires right out the back, but they didn't look like they were moving at all. Interior. Got my bag full of goodies. It's in the back seat here. You can look below in the description and see what I use to run these videos. Headliner. We'll start it up. Tack. Gas gauge. Wipers, do they work? Give it a little wiggle there. No wiper action. I'll see what's going on with that throughout the video here. Blower. It's blowing on my leg. It sounds weird though. <laughs> radio. I don't think the radio works either. Turn signals. I hear them, but they're not flashing right there where they're supposed to. What about this side? Yeah, this side's nice and bright. Not flashing though, you gotta manually flash it. Our gauge is down here, our oil pressure gauge is not moving at all in the temperature gauge. Should have came up, but we'll keep watching it. Do you think the horn works? I haven't tried it yet. Place your bets. Nope, not this one. Guys, let's take off down the road, see what else we can find. Try to reverse that. stay back because I don't want that thing coming off but I don't have a horn to stop him <laughs> he needs to stop wow somebody's gonna tell him 
but I'm not going to follow him all the way out. Hopefully he don't uh, get on the interstate before somebody tells him. All right, guys, we're going to go over here. That's crazy. Well, so far, so good. Just checked our gas gauge. It is floating around a quarter tank, so we may not have to get any fuel. I'm going to park over here. We're going to go into the little Mexi spot and get us some lunch. Yeah, the back. I heard the tires scraping. Um, and the fender wells back there, so we'll check that out too and see what's up. Here we are. I'll be right back, guys, with more information on this little Nova. gauges just aren't hooked up. This one here is an intention getter, guys. I had to hide out. I went behind some places over here. I used to come over here in the middle of the summer, especially if I had a real, real hot car. Because if I parked out here and did the videos, I wouldn't get much of the video done. I'd be talking to people all the time. So do think about it. On these old cars, people will come up and talk to you. 
That's definitely a, a big thing about classic cars. They get attention. Big old speed bump here. The back tires rub a little bit on the inner fenders. A little oversized on them back tires there. Every once in a while you'll hit a bump and hear it scrape. This is no race car, this is a driver. Still got a decent amount of pep, but from what I could tell, it's running really well. Just a lot of noise coming from the trunk back there. And the trunk is empty right now. Could be the speakers vibrating around in the package tray too. Tire rub, right rear is mainly where I'm hearing it. I'm not hearing anything coming from the left. Oh, he's got the old razor sitting out front. Sitting up good too. I got one of those I'm contemplating on selling. It's not as nice as that guy's, but. I just don't ever ride it anymore. I'd rather drive my car. Now you do gotta manually turn that turn signal on and off to flash it. The flasher's out on the right side it looks like. I think it's because the tail light, when I did the video on the undercarriage shots to show the headlights and the tail lights, my right rear tail light isn't working. So I think our bulb's out back there. We'll try to get a bulb and put in it when we get back and fix that issue. Maybe it'll start flashing again, right? Probably will. And I have seen a ton of boats. It's boat season, guys. That one's pretty. $100,000 boats. There's a marina down from the lot. It's what they sell. You can go in there. I would never spend that on a boat, but some people got the extra money to do that. Yeah, our speedometer's working good. She's a nice little cruiser. In town cruiser though. I wouldn't hop up on the highway and stretch it to 80 because it's got a low gear ratio. I'm gonna say cruising around, you know, 50 mile an hour, 55 is gonna be perfect for this car. pull in over here and check in on my van. He's been working on it for a few weeks now, getting everything buttoned up. Guys, picking out the flaws is coming up next, so stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe and share it. Share it on Facebook, share it on any of your platforms. I really do appreciate that. Okay, picking out the flaws is coming up next. We're here to pick out the flaws. Any kind of issues, Bondo, rust, chip scratches, I'll let you know in this video. 
we do this with every single car and if you see something hey i don't know what that is or you just call us 615-822-4444 we'll do a live video we'll send you more pictures of anything that you have concern of so we'll go ahead and get started here i usually start in the front we'll start in the back let's go bumper on the back here it's older but it still looks pretty good Honey tag. Get your gas cap. That's a strong tag. Looking around in your jam. Somebody's painted this up. A little dirt left in there. Seal's still soft. It just looks like they put glue on top of it for some reason. That wind is kicking still. Like day three of high winds here in Tennessee. I'm over it. I need some uh, regular weather. <laughs> Trunk looks good. A little thin. You see in the edge there, and fender well. popping up there package tray looks solid though a patch here and around our trunk lid a little surface rust on the edge there see some actual rust here in the middle Take a wire brush to it, get all that paint peeling off. Trunk lid is shut now. You see a little bit of a gap here. Spot in the corner, tail lights, decent. Trim piece behind the uh, bumper here. It's got some iffy spots. Coming down the side, pitting some of your chrome. Tires look good. Paint trip. It's like paint is thick here at the bottom. Maybe a little Bondo. Yeah, I think there is a little bond over there at the bottom. Which most of these old cars have. There's something right there in the corner too. Chip. Front bumper there. It's got a little bend to it. Emblem's a little pitted. What do you think? I think I like the car without this metal trim piece here. A little bit of pitting on your door handle too. Chip there. A little bit of overspray on some of your trim. Ding here. there chip in your windshield they got some paint around the edge there too see how thick it is up your pillar
Windows look good. The seal's not bad around the vent window there. Uh, roof. Little spot there. Also, a spot here. Trim's a little high there. Look, you push it down. Back windows. Okay. It is older. On the trunk, I could see little dots in the in the paint. And it looks like to me what you call a chemical fill. May not have been prepped exactly perfect, which left some of these little imperfections in the paint. Looking down this side. Rough spot there. Little bubble in the door. Little spot there at the bottom. Right on the edge of Some imperfections in your drip rail. Chips on the edge of your door there, pitting on the door handle itself. Spot in the middle here. Got some pitting on the mirror too. Oh, you got some bugs down in there. Got to get the guys in the detail bay to get that out. Now we've made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and open her up. Look at the interior some more in detail. Start the motor and listen to it. Door panel opens up good. It looks like chrome there is kind of peeling. But the door panel itself is in great shape. Oh, that's a little spot there. So people will kick it with their shoe getting in and out. I see that. It's all too common. Got a little rust that's been covered up in the edge of the door at the bottom of it. You jam. A little trim pieces older here. Carpet in this one is not too bad. In decent shape. Pedals look good. under the dash here. Mm. 
ding in the dash there, right in the middle. Hose clamp hanging on to your tack. A little bit of rust in the back window there in the edge. See it all the way up against the glass. The headliner's not perfect, but it is tight. You got some like imperfections in it, some stains. Turn the key. Starts right up. Those gauges under the dash there just never worked. Never did anything the whole video. Now, since that door on this side has some spots, I'm gonna look on this side too. Weather stripping's good up top, edge of the door. It's better on this side. Seat's in good shape too. Door panel, got a little spot here. Under the hood here, looks pretty good. Car, or the hood used to be green at least. Oh, you got some rust on the edge here. See that? Rust on the edge of the hood. to have that hood replaced or fix the front of it because the rest of it looks okay it's solid doesn't seem to be eat up just the front here behind the trim got a dent there too coming down with it you see it looks decent from the outside there but there's two layers on the inside and the front, the inside layer has got rust on it. The outside layer seems to be okay. It's locked. Looking around. I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like. That's gonna help me out in the long run. I'm also gonna keep putting them out for you every single day, as long as we have the inventory to show off here. Sometimes cars get sold before I can post these videos. Now, I'm always ahead, or at least I am right now, 
about seven days so i get a lot of things i get a lot of things done super early with that being said if it sells after i've made the video i mark it as sold and show it hey look what came to the lot i want you to see we still buy cars all the time sometimes i don't have that opportunity sometimes they'll sell so fast i don't have a chance to video and that's also a good problem but i still want to get them all on the channel here for you so you can see we're turning inventory and see what kind of inventory we're buying now as we're getting them in you know we fix certain things make sure they run and drive good this one here it's got a few little things like the wipers uh, and stuff that i went over in the video that'll be exactly how this car shows up to your house uh, that's why i'm doing these videos so you know what you're getting be sure to check out the 100 detailed pictures. The financing is available along with shipping. I could ship it to your front door. And of course, financing, you can get pre-approved for like 30 days. So that's a lot of cars. That's about 50 cars. I have a plenty of an opportunity to pick one up for Maple Motors. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going back to grab another one, do another test drive. I'll see you in the next video.